I've got my little daughter, Frankie, yes. who just turned one. Yep. Uh, and she is, she's the last piece of my puzzle. Mm. You know what I mean? So one day God will call my name, but whenever that happens, I will, mm. I will go with a smile and I will go feeling whole. And so I'm just, I get the opportunity to be daddy. And, uh, and to, now it's not about me anymore. Now everything I do is, is for her, That's my for girl, her. my family. You know, back in the day, I was running around flirting with girls and doing my thing. And then, you know, I slowed it all down. So yeah. did, so all my friends were like, you know what, Karma, you're going to get a girl. You know, it's payback. And uh, and I got the most amazing, beautiful little little lady. And, I mean, girl dad suits you so oh, yeah. well. Look Baby at the girl. smile on Baby your girl. face. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. And she is just the absolute cutest. She is. Uh, she Thank just you. radiates joy and. She's a happy how, baby. What's, I was gonna say, what's her personality oh, like? She, oh, she's, she, 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 she loves the mirror. She, I've got these big, tall, standing mirrors in the dining room. She's ready for the spotlight. Uh, oh man, she loves like you can't, you can't be in this family unless you're vain. And uh, so, so she gets, she gets in front of that mirror and 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 she talks to herself like it's a whole other person. <gasps> And then she'll literally kiss the mirror. She'll kiss herself. And then she'll laugh. And she'll laugh. And then she stands up, no hands. You know, so she hasn't started walking yet, but she's she's that close. Once Almost she, there. Once she takes that one step and doesn't fall, you know, light bulbs will go off. And she's like, oh, and she's gonna be off to the races. But uh, she's a hat unless her unless poopy diaper, um, or she's hungry. And because when she gets an attitude, oh, she has an attitude. <laughs> she gets yeah. angry? Yeah, I was like, yeah, she gets that from her mother. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but no, she is, obviously I'm biased, but she is just She's a so happy little girl mm -hmm. and, and sassy. Sassy, she'll let you know. And uh, but, uh, it's, just, it's just so fun to watch her evolve. It sounds like she is a star in the making. You've oh, yeah. been in this business for three decades now. Yeah. If she wanted to follow in your footsteps, what would you say? If she wants to do it, you know, whatever she wants to do, if it makes sense, um, I will support it. But I do want her to be a little girl. I want her mm -hmm. to be a kid. Um, I don't. I'm not into the whole Hollywood baby thing. Um, just because I, I, I want, I had perspective growing up. I didn't get into this business until I was 24 years old. Mm -hmm. And so I lived out of the country for the first six years of my life. Um, I played baseball, went to school, you know, traveled. So, you know, rode my dirt bike, you know, mm -hmm. made forts in the dirt. I was a kid, I didn't climb trees and tree fort. Like I was a kid. And uh, so I don't want her to, you know, get into too much of the vanity. And like, okay, you're cute. Mm -hmm. you're, you're more than cute, but that, that's not enough. You know be what I mean? Kid. Yeah, be a kid and then get some dimension to you and get some life experience. But, you know, if she wants to do school plays and, mm -hmm. you know, I, mean, I don't know if the commercial's paying enough, we, we might just stick her in there a little bit. You <laughs> Will know, you but, be dadager on the side? Yeah, probably. It's important to both of us that, yeah, you can celebrate yourself, but you're not better than anybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, uh, give it away. Mm -hmm. Celebrate other people. And uh, um, I just don't want to get caught up yeah. in the superficial. You know, yeah. what I do for a living is what I do. It's not who I am, mm -hmm. you know? And I go out there and I play the game and I'm, I'm yeah. Shamar Moore and I talk to my baby girls and I, <laughs> I, I do my dance. Uh, but when I go home, my friends call me Sham and, uh, and I'm just Sham. Yeah. And I, I put my sweats on, put my hat on backwards and I'm, I'm the dude from Boston and East Oakland. And, uh, but then it's time to go out there and put on a show. You go out there and do what I do. But when they say cut, Cut. Yeah, I have to say the genes run in the entire family, <laughs> and I, I think about I think about your mom. Oh, thank you. What a beautiful woman. Yeah. And I think about your baby girl. Mm -hmm. Do you see a lot of your mom in Frankie? I, I her personality, her personality. Uh, there's things, and then the, other people tell me because we say, does does Frankie look like me? Does she look like Jezre, my girl? Mm -hmm. And but people will say, no, there's, and, they, and she, she does have my stare. She has my Hondo stare. She, she does. She does. She, she 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 does this, and she'll look at you, and she'll look you up and down, and then when she's done with you, she will just and she okay. no, and then she's done with it. Um, so I think I think there's the, like I have a little wrinkle in my forehead. She's got that in her forehead. She's got the the S curl eyebrows. So there's a there's yeah. a little bit of me, and then and I so from here up it's me, and from here down it, I think it's yeah. my girl. But then other people will say, no, she she looks like your mother. And, and, I, and I'm looking, and I'm, you know, so, um, but this was my mother's dream, and, and uh, you know, she passed away February 8th. This was her four-year anniversary, but we celebrate that day, yeah. you know. There's tears at times, and, you know, and, and but uh, she set me up. She set me up. She gave me this, this thing called life, and, and uh, my vision 
uh, and my belief that uh, leap in the net will appear, things are possible, how bad do you want it? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna teach that, I'm gonna teach that to Frankie. So it's, I'm sorry that they don't coexist, but I know she's up there proud um, that I was able, because she wanted this for me, you know, to our point. She's proud of me with my success and the things that I've done, but she always said to me, the best of you will come out when you have a child, and so now I get that opportunity. What stories do you tell Frankie about your mom to keep her presence alive and to celebrate her? What I do is I show her, show her. things. I show her things, so whether it's pictures, I mm -hmm. take her in the office, and I say, Grandma, Grandma, Nana, yeah. Nana. I show her things, and, and uh, or I'll read cards that my mother, you know, that I have left over from her, and you know, I don't know if she's getting it, but she, she's paying attention. You know, I, I don't know if she's just paying attention to the, you know, the material, whatever. But I, but I, I go, Grandma's here, Grandma's here. I have a stone in in my backyard because J January 26th, uh, 2020, uh, was the day that I signed my offer for my home. And uh, it was the one and only time that my mother had been to the, came to that house. And so mm -hmm. where the stone is now, I remember she stood there because there's a drain in the grass. And I remember looking down and seeing her standing by this drain. Mm -hmm. And it just happens to be the center of the house from the front door to the backyard. It's just, you know, I don't know if that means anything, but she's right there. And so I faced off with her. I said, what's up? And she said, you made your current house, my last house, you made your current house really beautiful. And it was good to you for 13 years but I was never all the way in love with it. She goes, but Shema, this is my son's home. And then 13 days later, she passed away. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a little stone in the backyard in that spot that says, this is my son's home, mom with butterflies engraved on it. And so as far as keeping her energy alive, mm -hmm. her spirit alive, those are the things that Frankie will come right. to know and, stories and, mm -hmm. and stories from me, stories from other people who knew and loved my mother. So she'll get the essence of her. Your story is so, it's just so obvious that mm -hmm. everything happens for a reason. Even yeah. with the show, it was yeah. meant to continue and mm -hmm. it may still be meant to continue. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. If in the event it does not continue, what is next? Because I know, I know you always will have something on the drawing board. 30 years in the game, the longest I've ever gone unemployed in 30 years is four months. And so I've just stayed in the game, you know, at whatever level. Yeah, seven years of a really fun show. And so, you know, the word on the street is it's our final season. But I, but I you know, I'm, I'm an optimist, you know what I mean? And, and uh, numbers matter, you know what I mean? And uh, we had a resurgence and uh, Netflix took us on. And, um, and Howard Stern's talking about us. Who doesn't um, love the show? Well, no, it's, 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 it's great. So yeah. if this if this is the final season, mm -hmm. uh, I just say thank you. Uh, it's been an incredible run to play tough guy, Daniel Hondo Harrelson. It's okay. Hey, I got you, come here. You know, I, I, you know, obviously I'm biased, you know, there's no such thing as the best show, but I do think we've been a very unique show. You know, it's, it's like watching a, an action movie, but on TV, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's fun to go save the day and chase the bad guys. And, um, but we really do some exciting things. I like that you have the optimism because this season wasn't even supposed to happen because CBS canceled after yeah. season six and look, here we are. Here we so are. you never know what can happen. Yeah, I know the fans made noise. Yeah. How much do you think the fans played a part of the story continuing on? Um, I think there's, I think they were a huge part of it, but just to be able to get a graceful exit, you mm -hmm. know, just be able to say goodbye the right way. And so these final 13 episodes that we get, we're making the most of it and, and the fans are excited and, and we, we start in a couple weeks. I was gonna say, how happy are you that the show will have a proper goodbye now? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. It's, it's the way it should be. We hate to see it go. And, yeah. But again, I'm not quite sure it's the end, but, uh, you know, but that's just me. What are you doing here? LAPD needed an escort team for the extradition. The higher ups knew about my history with Erdugo. I really want to continue doing SWAT, and I want, and I've tried to let CBS and Sony, the people that make us happen, um, because we are really still enjoying it, and uh, and and the fan response. And so, will I do it forever? Nothing's forever. Maybe this is the end. And what's after that? Um, I don't know. I have ideas, but uh, I love to tell stories. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll be tough guy cop, but uh, you know, I don't. Maybe, maybe I'll try and do some silly stuff. I've been fortunate enough to do a very small part in Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and I was in the number two, and I'm actually uh, 
going to do a very tiny part uh, shooting in London. I'm going to be a part of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Oh, very, Frankie, very, Frankie's going to love that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The two top things that I sign autographs for, or take pictures, or get attention, the two top things are getting on stage with Matt Wright. I got up on stage and I had a, I had a little bit of tequila in my system, and I got up there and I just ran my mouth. And, I, and I'm not, I'm nobody's comedian, but I can be silly. And so I ran my mouth and it went viral, caught fire. So the two things that I'm most recognized for today is getting on stage with Matt Wright, and Sonic the Hedgehog. And, Sonic the Hedgehog. and I had like 11 lines in Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But you are so funny. Your videos the other day from the Grammys. I mean, the commentary with that went viral. Mm -hmm. Just watch the Grammys. Now, I'm not mad at Taylor Swift at all, but she did walk up on that stage and hug everybody except Celine. What are we doing? Oh, in the excitement, she didn't realize what was going No. People were loving it. Mm -hmm. What do we have to do to get you to continue to do the oh, social media commentary? We've got the Super Bowl coming up. We could use your commentary yeah. there. We've got the Oscars. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> you give me you give me a little sippy sip and then, and then, and then you know, <laughs> truth serum comes out. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean uh, you know, Hondo is a very serious dude. You know, Hondo's, you know, my characters, you know, I play mm -hmm. cops and so they deal with serious situations. And and so if you really want to see my personality, go to my Instagram. Instagram, yeah. <laughs> and then we and have a big pop culture event and uh -huh. then we get the great commentary. Yeah. It was it was gold. It was yeah. great. A lot of people agreed with me, but then I got a lot of flack from the Swifties who just die hard and, right, and right. I made a point to say because I, I truly do tip my cap to her success. I mean, yeah. how can you not? Um, I, I don't listen to her music, I'm just mm -hmm. being honest, but not because I don't like it. I, I couldn't name a song. I, I, it's not my generation, and I, I just don't. Um, but that's, you tip your cap, that's incredible. Right. And, and, and I mean, they're living, look at the life. Travis Kelsey, yeah. Taylor Swift. I mean, it, it, it's almost not real, but it's but hey, kudos to them. If you do continue the commentary for Super Bowl, <laughs> it'll also probably be about Taylor Swift. <laughs> right. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs>